Monday, girl. Monday, Monday. She hears so good to me. Hey now, hey now, no alcohol for you. It's a big gerbil. <laughs> They're probably not even that good. <laughs> what do we got today, Mr. Sean? Today we got Magic Hat Brewing Company's Chill Switch. Sound check series IPA. I think that's kind of a pun on kill switch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it looks like there's a bunch of just uh, things going on in this uh, bottle that are out of my pay grade. I don't really understand any it, of this. It looks like a music machine that brews booze. Yeah, so that'd be a fun world to live in. Uh, one of the only states I've never been to in the country, Vermont. I feel so alive. I love being in the country. Never been there. Ah. Apparently they got a, you know, the uh, brewery called Magic Hat there. What? I drank a lot of their beers, but uh, have never contributed to Vermont's economy other than that, so I apologize. <laughs> and today we're feasting on cheese and bacon mini, what's this word, cachet? Yeah, I think it's pronounced mini cachet. No, you know what it's pronounced. Quiche. Quiche. So I'm going to do a quiche for today. And it's just real, real simple. Oh, I thought that would be Q U E S H. It's a really, well, the first time I saw that word, I was mad that it was even a word. Yeah, that upsets me. Mm -hmm. uh, egg, cheese, bacon, and onions baked in a flaky pastry. I'm a little worried because it's made in Canada. I'm a little worried because they don't believe in the Oxford comma. That's true. Cause... Signature Select has opted out of the Oxford it's comma. An egg, cheese, Bacon and onions. So when I went to journalism school at uh, my really dumb college, uh -huh. they also don't teach the Oxford comma in journalism. It's very is, dumb. So in high school I did the same, whatever, you get it. It changed and it was really tough and annoying and I just didn't understand why there'd be two rules of thought. This final comma in a list, placed directly before the main conjunction, such as and, or, or nor, is called the serial comma, or Oxford comma and it has long driven grammar nerds crazy. But that's why today I have a food review channel and this is what I do for a living. I don't need to care about anything. Exactly, exactly. Dude, I was gonna ask you to juggle these, but I don't want you oh, to. Oh yeah. Do it for the gift. <laughs> All right, well we got, uh, I brought two Chef Iron Mike sauces from my apartment. These are two of the uh, Burning Bandito ones. And then we got Sixer sauce as well. So I, I figured these probably make, I feel like quiches are really great for uh, hot sauce. These are little, basically little mini bowls too. Yeah. Like in a way. In this. Right, I'm gonna try one without it, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna probably start lacing some hot sauce. Huh. So Signature Selects cheese and bacon mini quiches. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Flaky crust. Yeah, it's very flaky. It's it's like kind of biscuit quality on the outside. Mm -hmm. And um, flavor you know, decent. I mean, very bacony in the flavor. There's nothing really to show you. Yeah. You know what a little mini egg quiche would look like. Not much to it. Which uh, do you have a hot sauce that you think is gonna be best with it? Try that one on it. This one. That's the uh, burning bandito. I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. Now that I've tried it solo style, which is pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna do the so other I'm gonna one. Do... For those of you who know, Chef Iron Mike does uh, Sixer sauce. He's got a bunch of his own sauces. So I just I think these would work really well for this. Mm-hmm. Um, which one are you going? You going Burn Bandito? This is the yeah. I ate one of each. Yeah, that's oh. a good idea. Mm. Very good. Very tasty. Oh wow. Oh, those are spicy too. This is the Burning Bandito. There's a Bandito and a Bandida. And in Spanish culture, you just change the last letter of words and just change the feminine or masculinity of it, and I'm smart. Wow. Ever met someone who is so extremely dumb that they don't know how stupid they actually are? The only thing I would say about these, I wish the ratio of bread to insides was a little bit less on the bread. Me too. It but it is good bread. It's very flaky. Not bad at all. There's 15 of these in a pack. I think I could eat all 15 in less than a minute. Mm-hmm. Man, those were, I mean, those were good. Like, honestly, I was not expecting much out of that. Yeah. Especially because it was store brand and just a really random item. Yeah. I'm kind of genuinely happy we got those. I'm genuinely happy to be sitting here next to you. Wow, what a start of a week. <laughs> I'm getting blown this week. Whoa, I didn't say I was gonna. Oh. Uh, are you mental? We broke up. There's nothing like watching you dig a deeper and deeper <laughs> hole. Get the net! All right, before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down these quiches from Signature Select, let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out! Number six with cheese.com is our website. On the site, you'll see koozies, you'll see Sixer sauce, you'll see t-shirts, 
and a bunch more stuff coming. And guys, when you buy more than one item on this show, we say your name faster. You're in the full mm -hmm. first up program. So today, two names. Also, don't forget, if you sign up for a subscription service, we're actually gonna say your name the fastest. It's the fastest way to get your name said. It's basically, and also you save money. These bottles yeah, are only $9. We lose money, we lose money. We make less money than we <laughs> otherwise would. It's just kind which, of like losing money, opportunity loss. Yes, and recently Corey said, if you watch that video, the more of it you get, the more of it you can drink. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just edited that video. <laughs> on our website, if you love our hot sauce enough, if you're saying in your brain, bro, I'm drinking one bottle of these a month, I'm drinking two bottles of these a month, I don't know why I said drinking. I was about to say, I'm I now saying that you're... from now on. Merch shot at number one, Mr. Matt Verdi. <laughs> Cadillac, Michigan's own, my babies, and he bought five bottles of Sixer sauce that is legendary. We were just talking about like who's bought the most. I'm gonna- Still gotta I'm, be Colleen at the top, right? She's think? bought the most overall. Total? Oh, you mean most for one order? Which I should be giving Colleen more credit because that's, a, she, I think she's bought 17 bottles. Jeez, that's and so incredible. And I keep incredible. telling her, she's my best friend from back home, I go, I'll just give you, like, dude, you've bought a lot. She's yeah. like, nope, I'm gonna keep buying them. She's the best. But this is about Matt Verity. Matt Verity, five bottles in one order, and he's bought a ton of other stuff. I think he's been a patron or currently is a patron. Matt, thank you. Yeah, he's a, like, super fan. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that, dude. I, my own parents don't love me. <laughs> and merch shout out number two goes to Mr. Mark Cortez. <laughs> Mark bought three bottles of Sixer sauce, also very, very respectable, and we mailed those out to Bedford, Texas. Mm. Hope you're enjoying them down there in Texer, te Texer. Texas, down Mr. Texer. Mark. Man, plates were so not necessary for that meal, you know? But Can I say something about the beer before? Uh, I, good point, by the way. Yeah. But I, yeah. That is true. These mm. were the most over, like, in terms of dishware, we really went overboard on we'll that We'll take one. our check, thanks. <laughs> this beer? No. Uh -huh. yeah, of course you can. <laughs> it's your show. <laughs> no. No. That's really like nice dog. of you to ask for permission that, to say something on your Sir, own show please. about the beer that's featured on the show. Yeah. And if I was such a tyrant, I was like, honestly, dude, like, we're kind of pressed for time. He hits me. <laughs> like, oh. I said before we uh, filmed this, I was like, oh, dude, I'm going to do this wheat one to like, get it out of the way because I'm not like a big wheat guy. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've, maybe I have, but I don't remember ever having like a wheat IPA. I didn't think it was, I was gonna enjoy it at all because I really don't really care for wheat beers all that much. Right. I really, really didn't mind this. Like, I really like grapefruit in beers. Oh, is that, there is a little bit of that in here too. I wonder if that helps hide the wheat flavor for me. I'm trying to remember if we were having the show. One of my favorite beers is Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin. Oh, it's really good, I, and I think you'd really like that. But that's like, it's funny to call this a wheat beer. You yeah, should, it doesn't taste. You should like call it, it a grapefruit IPA. I think they have another. Their citrus IPA, which we're about to get to at some point, I think has grapefruit in it too. Maybe. Either way, gra grapefruit's great in IPAs, and you guys are great fans. Thanks. Wow, for that is weird. You know, people in Vermont do whatever they want. Let's be from Vermont, and let's have an emerging maple syrup conglomerate. Man, that's stupid. We don't know anything about maple syrup. I happen to know everything there is to know about maple syrup. I love maple syrup. I love maple syrup on pancakes. I love it on pizza. The only thing I like with wheat, like none of this is makes wheat thins, yeah. I think. Wheat thins are great. Yeah. And also, I used to, when I was a kid, I thought they were like, <laughs> so terrible marketing and like fat and stuff growing up was, wheat thins to me, I thought were like healthy food. Are they not? I still think that. <laughs> it's just straight carbs, bro. Look, when you're having a snack, why not have something really good? <laughs> Wheat thins. They call them the light little cracker with the big wheat taste from Nabisco. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> They're terrible. Snacking on something that's just straight like carbs is not gonna make you. Maybe if you have like nine for a meal and that's it, you're like, I'll have nine wheat thins. Uh, those are healthy. Hey Brian, can I have some wheat thins? What? Wheat thins. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying wheat thins. Say wheat. Wheat. I'll say wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Do you guys think wheat thins are healthy? Comment below. Um, all right, what, what the f What's going on in this video? Uh, Eric McCloskey. Hated to rate You're it. You're supposed to keep us on track, my dude. Ooh, he started the drum roll. See? Okay. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you like to enjoy it. You might overall get again the signature select cheese and bacon mini quiche. Price? Do you know by chance? Here. I want to say they're, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say a box of 15 of them, I'm going to say is four. 49. That's my guess. Bro, I hope you nailed it. That'd be so sick. Bro, off by 50 cents. 4.99. Yep, yep. You sure it wasn't at like a sale price though? I feel like there's no way those. If for Jewel Osco members like us, I feel like it has to be 4.49. <laughs> I don't see any sale all prices. Right, all right, all right. We got two dollars off of something though. Oh my God, dude! I just found a gerbil. <laughs> Hi, little lady. Okay. She peed on Sean's shoe earlier. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I know. Well, you shouldn't have done. Proud it. of herself. Okay, ready. Yeah, that might have been discount. Take this something. Oh, 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 oh,
I don't know if I'd buy them with my own money, but if you and I were like in a desert somewhere and they could just airdrop like mm -hmm. a kind of okay breakfast item, I'd pick that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's like exactly how I feel. Yeah, they're they're definitely like, if you have them and you have five bucks and you're like, I want 15 quiches, that's a good choice. It was really close to giving it the middle. Yeah. So it's like just a, it's actually more of like a here than a here. Right. You know? I think they're definitely worth four, four, 50 for 99 yeah ish find them on sale if you can yeah um guys that's a monday video um this is farley if you haven't this is their new doggy dogs it's the first time she's been halfway not a psycho on, on a video thanks for the kisses dude it's the most action i've gotten in a month <laughs> guys we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video back in the cars we do on tuesdays new video every single weekday number six oh, with cheese.com i forgot that we my beer bottle <laughs> <laughs> she's one of those dogs that'll grab whatever's around is your beer bottle i've played fetch with her for like 20 minutes is your beer bottle cap? It's right here, dude. I'm a respectable. Oh, I don't throw my sh. I'm just the only immature, unresponsible. It is your own child. House. I guess I can't really. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Sure. Oh yeah, we have these koozies are cold, so I'll have a drink. Bro, bubbles in the bath make your toes laugh. Fear bad beer. <laughs> these cop, these caps say stuff. I didn't know that. Every time I make eye contact with Corey, he says bubbles in the bath. What was it? <laughs> make your toes laugh. <laughs> That's what I say when I call.